CHS Pirate Radio now plays classic oldies from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Right now on the screen, you can see the names of some of the bands and singers we feature. It's just a partial list. In addition to the music, we have the latest pirate announcements and other school-related information. And we have some of Crandall's best students as announcers and DJs. We want the parents, grandparents, aunts, and uncles, and anyone else who needs to keep up with the CHS happenings to listen. That's right, listen, and tell everyone you know to listen to. CHSPirateRadio.com. It's a big variety of great classic oldies. What's up, Pirates? I'm... Not so little Debbie. And I'm Dequa. And you're watching the Friday Big Show. Pirate basketball had a great season, but the overtime loss to Pleasant Grove at the regional quarterfinal brought it to an end. When we learn about postseason all district honors, we'll pass that along. AP students, make sure you're getting your AP exam deposits into Mr. Edmonds ASAP. The deposits are $15 per AP exam. They're due by Friday, March 8th, the Friday before spring break. Mr. Edmonds will be in the cafe that day to take payments, but try to go see him before then. Big news. Tim Bogan and Tutu Bodede got a big surprise Monday when they were visited by representatives of Trinity Valley Electrical Co-op. Tim and Tutu won an all-expenses-paid trip to Washington, D.C. this summer for their participation in the Government in Action Youth Tour. Congratulations to these good pirates. Lady Pirate basketball players are getting postseason accolades. Senior Alex Bowman, Offensive Player of the Year, Juniors Kamaya Linton and Allie Jones, First Team All-District, Second Team All-District honors go to Senior McKenna Kohler and Junior Skyler Lorick. And Senior McKenna Parks made the honorable mention All-District team. Pirate and Lady Pirate powerlifters are heading to regionals. Abby Larry, Javen Crawford, Caden Arnett, Ryan Barnett, Riley Reed, Felix Espinosa, Trace Woodruff, Tyler Bryant, Cody Nugent, and Damari Gay. Girls' regional meet is tomorrow. The guys go to regionals next Saturday. Good news from the Lynx. Our girls and boys teams both competed well in the Eustis Polar Bear Invitational on Monday. The girls won the tournament and the boys finished second. Next is March 18th in Rowlett. Theater Crandall will be doing a public performance of their show, Peter and the Starcatcher. It's the Neverland You Never Knew. Come see it Monday, March 4th at the CHS Cafeteria. Doors open at 7 and tickets are $5. Last weekend, 13 art students from Crandall High School competed in a visual arts scholastic event at Rowlett High School. All the students that attended received at least one medal for their artwork. Good job, Pirates. Congrats to Lady Pirate Soccer for their 2-1 win over Quinlan Ford Wednesday night. Goals by Meadow Grimaldo and Cameron Carey. Both boys and girls soccer will be playing at Pirate Stadium tomorrow morning as Sunnyvale comes to town. Boys at 9 and the girls at 10.30. It's Teacher Appreciation Day. Pirate Track and Field is scheduled to be at Hamby Stadium in Mesquite Saturday morning for the Carl Norris Invitational. Jada Sanford is a bully. Thanks for watching Pirate TV. Pirate TV. Pirate TV. Big show, big show, big show, big show, Friday, big show. What's up, hey. y'all? It's hey. G Dill. Hey. Hey. The best hey. in the hey. nation. Hey. Hey. I'm fresher hey. than hey. a refill. Hey. Hey. And ready hey. for graduation. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Pirate TV. Pirate TV. Yeah. Big show, big show, big show, big show, Friday, big show. I pray. I listen to music. To get faster. To get faster. To get faster. Um, 4 by 2 relay and over 200. 4 by 2 in the 200. Uh, the 100 in the 200. Me. Yeah, her. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I can't do no 400. I've learned the most from Amaya because she's a great leader and I want to be just as good as her one day. But I learned from Amaya because she is the, the only female on the team and she, she really helps all of us. <laughs> smoke on me, smoke on three. One, two, three, fire! All right, all right, all right. How we doing in here? Let's hear ya. Let me 
me try that again. Let's hear ya. There we go. All right, all right. This gentleman right here, this is Coach Mitchum. He's one of our Pirates of the Week. What a great basketball season this guy has helped produce, working hard day in and day out, weekends, holidays, putting in the efforts, helping our kids get to where they went to the third round of the playoffs and, and played really well. And that's why he's a Pirate of the Week. This is Coach Mitchum because he's worked hard with his team, not only with his classes here, this great class right here, but also with our basketball team, and they made the playoffs and went and did very well. Coach Mitchell. Thank you. Pow! Pow! Woo! Well, all right, all right, all right. How we doing in here? We doing all right today? All right, come on, class. We got to hear you now. Wake up. We're doing all right. Yeah. Hey, right here, this is another part of the week. This is Coach Short. And what a great job, what a great season this guy had. Uh, he's worked hard working with our kids and our, our basketball team. Three rounds deep, played tough, and uh, working hard on the uh, on Saturdays, holidays, and making sure these kids are ready and prepared. And they, they, they proved it that they the hard work really helps. And that's why he's a Pirate of the Week. Coach Short, pow. Pow. Woo! All right. Come on, hey, where are we at? All right, all right, all right. What are we doing in here today? Oh, what are we doing? We got some decimals on the board here. All righty. Let's see. The mole roadmap. All right. This gentleman right here, this is Coach Schuster. He's one of our Pirates of the Week. This gentleman here has worked with our uh, Lady Pirates, uh, doing little odds and ends and, and just coaching them up and helping them get to the playoffs. And uh, the, lady, the Lady Pirates, they advanced to the playoffs this year and did a great job and worked hard. This guy's one of the reasons. Coach Schuster, pow. 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 Woo! Pirate of the Week, Pirate of the Week, Pirate of the Week. Yeah. Um, let's see. I run cross country, I went to state in that. I'm currently in track and um, that's about it right now. Um, my favorite teacher would have to be Brad Scoggin because um, he always pushes me to be my hardest and be, um, he's always coaching us to be like better men and people in society. I plan to go to uh, UT Arlington and uh, study in the nursing field. And how do you feel about being a super student? I feel like a super student. This Saturday is Texas Independence Day. Saturday is Texas Independence Day. Texas Independence Day. Independence Day. This Saturday is Texas Independence Day. And I'm going to be working, but after that I'm going to a sleepover with one of my friends. And I will be at the girls' soccer game working the concession stand. I will be sleeping. And also I have a soccer game. And I will be at the boxing gym. Saturdays are important because it's a day off and I get to work on my art. Texas Independence Day. And I'm going to hang out with my family. Whoa. 
Something special that I'm about to do is go to this Raising Cane's that opens in a couple of months, but it's okay because I love Raising Cane's, so thank you. Saturday is Texas Independence Day, and I'm having a party for my birthday, and Kamaya and Avery are not coming. Uh, well, this Saturday, according to Struck, is Texas Independence Day, and I'm probably going to spend it doing a lot of homework and a lot of sleeping. On Saturday, I'm going to Zach's birthday party. <laughs> yeah. The Goldusters just went to competition last Saturday, and we got the Sweepstakes and Judges Award. We got Best in Category for our Lyrical Routine, and we got second place overall in our small group division, and we also got the Supreme Award from the judges. Congratulations to the 2018-2019 Crandall Goldduster Drill Team. Congratulations, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, come and see Peter and the Starcatcher. Doing it on Monday night, 7 o'clock is when it starts. So you need to be there at like 6.45 so that you can come in. Tickets are $5 and it's going to be a great show. Its tagline is, the Neverland you never knew.